The First Battle of Tembian was a battle fought on the northern front of what was known as the Second Italo-Abyssinian War. This battle was primarily fought around War U Pass in what was then the Tembian province of Ethiopia. Background on 3 October 1935, General Emilio de Bono advanced into Ethiopia from Eritrea without a declaration of war. De Bono had a force of approximately 100,000 Italian soldiers and 25,000 Eritrean soldiers to advance towards Addis Ababa. In December, after a brief period of inactivity and minor setbacks for the Italians, de Bono was replaced by Badoglio. Haile Selassie launched the Christmas offensive late in the year to test Badoglio. Initially successful, the goals of this offensive were overly ambitious. As the progress of the Christmas offensive slowed, Italian plans to renew the advance on the northern front got underway. In addition to being granted permission to use poison gas, Badoglio received additional ground forces. The elements of the Italian Third Corps and the Italian Fourth Corps arrived in Eritrea during early 1936. By mid-January, Badoglio was ready to renew the advance on the Ethiopian capital. Badoglio overwhelmed the armies of ill-armed and uncoordinated Ethiopian warriors with mustard gas, tanks, and heavy artillery. Preparation In early January 1936, the Ethiopian forces were in the hills everywhere overlooking the Italian positions and launching attacks against him on a regular basis. Italian dictator Benito Mussolini was impatient for an Italian offensive to get underway and for the Ethiopians to be swept from the field. In response to his frequent exhortations, Badoglio cabled Mussolini, It has always been my rule to be meticulous in preparation so that I may be swift in action. The Ethiopians facing the Italians were in three groupings, in the center, near Abiadi and along the Belus River in the Tembian, were Ras Kassa with approximately 40,000 men and Ras Sayam Mongasha with about 30,000 men. On the Ethiopian right was Ras Molujati Yegazu and his army of approximately 80,000 men in positions atop Amber Aradam. Ras Imru Haile Selassie with approximately 40,000 men was on the Ethiopian left in the area around Seler Liha in the Shire province. Badoglio had five army corps at his disposal. On his right, he had the Italian 4th Corps and the Italian 2nd Corps facing Ras Imru in the Shire. In the Italian centre was the Eritrean Corps facing Ras Kassa and Ras Sayum in the Tembian. Facing Ras Molujata atop Amber Aradam was the Italian 1st Corps and the Italian 3rd Corps. Initially, Badoglio saw the destruction of Ras Molugeta's army as his first priority. Molugeta's force would have to be dislodged from its strong positions on Amber Aradam in order for the Italians to continue the advance towards Addis. Ababa, but Ras Kassa and Ras Sayum were exerting such pressure from the Tembian that Badoglio decided that he would have to deal with them first. If the Ethiopian center was successful, the 1st Corps and 3rd Corps facing Ras Molujita would be cut off from reinforcement and resupply. On 19 January, the day before the offensive in the Tembian began, Badoglio ordered General Ettore Bastico, commander of the 3rd Corps, to leave Makal and occupy Nabri and Nagada. By doing this, Badoglio effectively closed the road to the Tembian to Ras Molujita preventing him from sending reinforcements to Ras Kassa and Ras Sayum. Battle On 20 January, Badoglio launched the first battle of the Tembian. On the left of the Eritrean Corps, the 2nd Eritrean Division advanced in two columns through the area around Abaro Pass. On the right of the Eritrean Corps, the 2nd, the 28th of October, Blackshire Division advanced towards the torrent that was the Belus River. The Italian Third Corps held Nabri and Nagada. After some initial confusion where forces on both sides ended up in temporarily isolated positions, the Ethiopians managed to push the advancing Italians back. By the end of the day, 
the 2nd Eritrean Division fell back to positions around Abero Pass and the 2nd Blackshire Division on the Italian right was driven back to the Wauyu Pass where it and the garrison were surrounded and besieged. For three days the Ethiopians launched wave after wave of attacks against the Italians cut off at Wauyu Pass. Badoglio moved up the 1st Eritrean Division to join the 2nd Eritrean Division at Abero Pass. Badoglio then ordered the commander of the 2nd Eritrean Division, General Ashil Vakarizi, to advance on the Wauyu Pass and relieve the besieged Italians there. By the afternoon of the 22nd of January, the Blackshire Division and the garrison at Wauyu Pass were still cut off. The fury of the Ethiopian attacks was reaching a crescendo, and Badoglio anxiously drew up plans for a general withdrawal. There is no way to know what the result would have been if he had attempted to withdraw 70,000 men, 14,000 animals, and 300 guns of the Italian 1st Corps and 3rd Corps down the single road from Makal with the forces of Ras Molugita at their rear. On the third day, the Italians at the Wauyu Pass were relieved by Vakarizi and his Eritreans. According to the Italians, the Ethiopians melted away when the relief force appeared. According to the Ras Kassa, the Italian Royal Air Force saved the day for Badoglio. His men could no longer stand up to the deadly clouds of mustard gas rained down non-stop on the roads his troops took, the base camps where they gathered, and any area surrounding them. Aftermath By the morning of 24 January, the First Battle of Tembian came to an end. In addition, the armies of Ras Imru and Ras Molugita were fully intact. However, the threat the armies of the Ethiopian center posed to the 1st Corps and 3rd Corps was neutralized and now Badoglio was free to turn his attention to the Ethiopian right and Ras Molugita. The Battle of Ambra Aradam followed next. Roughly one month later, the Second Battle of Tembian would prove to be a more decisive encounter for Ras Kassa and Ras Sayum.